Congresswoman Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez landed in hot water with conservatives earlier this week after she tweeted about the alleged dangers of gas stoves, marking a potential new frontier in the culture war. Fury over such a proposed ban on stoves uh, was sparked Tuesday when a member of the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission told Bloomberg, in reference to indoor pollutants linked to gas stoves, quote, this is a hidden hazard. Any option is on the table. Products that can't be made safe can be banned. The White House has since confirmed that President Biden does not support such an action. However, partisans on both sides of the aisle appear to have nonetheless dug their heels in. People love to be big mad. Republican Congressman Ronnie Jackson wrote on Twitter, quote, I'll never give up my gas stove. If the maniacs in the White House come from my stove, they can pry it from my cold, dead hands. Come and take it. Robbie, you were just saying that uh, about your stove before yep, the came on the, the air. Yep, I feel the same way. The same way. <laughs> Meanwhile, for Try CNN, and take it. <laughs> let's listen to what CNN's uh, chief climate correspondent had to say on the topic. This is 100 years of advertising. You know, you're cooking with gas now was a deliberate campaign from the American Gas Association when they were up against wood and coal mm -hmm. back in the 30s. Even today, a couple of years ago, it was found there that they're sort of paying influencers to cook out their gas stoves because electric, frankly, is so superior just in terms of it's much more efficient, it's safer, the new induction stoves are safer and all of that. The science is showing us that having... A gas stove in a small apartment, especially with bad ventilation, it's like having an, a car idling there. And if you have wow. young kids, it can affect cognitive abilities and, and as well as asthma. That's what that shill for big electric stove had to say. <laughs> uh, look, people have different preferences about these things. I, I, I don't know. You referenced this the other day. You said this is apparently there's research. There has been research on the harms to kids and how it causes asthma. Um, I looked at at least one of the studies that was going around yesterday. Uh, and that study that was referenced by CNN that concluded that 12.7 percent of all childhood asthma can be attributed to gas stoves. Uh, according to a uh, Twitter user PolitiFact, uh, who writes a, a PolyFact, rather, who writes uh, a lot of really good uh, taking a, a conservative position on a lot of uh, cultural and economic issues uh, that I like. Uh, he said that study was funded and run by anti-gas and clean energy advocates. The study's top authors are listed as staff for RMI, RMI which admits to at least partially funding the study as well. It's a nonprofit dedicated to carbon neutrality and the acceleration of the, quote, clean energy transition. Yeah, RMI, I'm looking at the study. The RMI is the top author. Also, this is a study that comes out of the Faculty of Medicine and Health from Sydney School of Public Health, um, another Australian uh, health uh, School of Public Health, Department of Epidemiology and Population Health at Albert Einstein College of Medicine in the Bronx, um, and some other groups. So, yeah, I don't think you have to rely on this study or any other to know that it's been pretty common knowledge for a long time. This is from the Washington Post, not studying that study, that natural uh, natural gas stoves emit air pollutants such as nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and fine particulate matter at levels the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and World Health Organization has that are unsafe and linked to respiratory illnesses, cardiovascular problems, cancer, and other health conditions. But look, science has been wrong on these kinds of things before. Eggs are good for you, then they're bad for you, then they're good for you again. Meat, wine, chocolate, we've all been through the whole rigmarole. I completely respect if people want to continue to subject themselves to some level of risk. Maybe it's not any risk at all. And the good news is that nobody's actually coming for your stove, so no need to uh, start arming yourself and uh, <laughs> nailing boards over your front door here. Well, wait a minute. I, but, okay, but you're agreeing that, well, I appreciate what you just said, but you <laughs> seem to be agreeing that this is a Republican's pounce story, which I saw everyone, I saw literally the, the Republican sees language being used again. Sometimes it's fair to accuse Republicans of getting all worked up about nothing. In fact, it's one of their favorite things to do. It doesn't seem to me that this is a case of that. This was sparked by someone who does have the authority or whose agency has the authority to make it harder or prevent you from buying gas stoves or from having gas stove saying that we're looking at doing just that. So then there was a lot of uh, criticism from Republicans, and then there were a lot of Democrats like AOC, like the person talking on CNN saying, well, actually, you know, it might be a good idea. There's all these risks. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm simply stating the fact that Joe Biden has no interest in pursuing this, and even the plan that was being advanced by folks who were thinking of banning stoves wouldn't be coming for anybody's stove. That language is— They would stop you from buying new stoves. Hyperbolic, exactly. Well, it would simply say that you, you, you can't buy new stoves, and moreover, if you did want to replace your old stove, there's some pretty significant subsidies that you can take advantage of, of about $800— uh, 
that can help you do that. Now, I just want to say for the record, I prefer cooking on gas stoves. I find it easier to adjust the heat quicker without having to wait for it to like modulate. So much better. Um, I, you know, I think it, the pans that I have seem mm -hmm. to work better on the gas stove that I had before I moved to a new apartment last February. Like that's no question for me. However, I don't think I'll ever go back to a gas stove, not necessarily because of the health implications, but because gas sto uh, electric stoves rather induction tops are so much easier to clean. You just wipe it down, and plus it gives you all this extra surface area and what is a small living space already. Like, I'll never go back. I love them. So I'm more than happy to have some health hook that makes it easier for people to convert their gas stoves into electric stoves. I think a lot of people will want to take advantage of that, and I think that's ultimately a good thing. It's more choice for people, and if people have kids in the house, especially in small environments, you know, and, and are concerned about what some of these studies suggest— power to them if they want to make the transition. People should read the research and decide for themselves what kind of cooking environment they want in their own house or apartment or whatever it is. I've had both. I vastly prefer cooking with um, with gas as What about do. cleaning? Do you clean the stove? Yeah. And you take all of the you just the you eyes take off. It takes five seconds. You take the two it things off. It does not take you... five seconds. You got to take all the things off. You got to clean the the burner. The grates. So you take the, the grates. grates off. You got to wipe down in there. There's cracks and crevices. Things can fall down in there. There's food down there from 1950. So we have like two grates. That's not like individual you don't to have each the four separate. burner. I don't I have, have four the four separate. The two. Yeah, the, that is a pain. I would prefer, and so what we have are these two grates. You lift them off, you scrub under there. It's not scrub, that hard. No, it's not scrub. that hard. I, I mean, I got have you, have, you've had an induction stove tonight? I've had both. I've had both. And you didn't like the, the, the shoop and the glossy, flat ease of cleaning? There's no dinging under, there's no crevices, there's um, no grates? I, 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 honestly, I find that I, it's just as hard to clean. I, I find Sometimes it's not, if there's not that much dirt, How it's easier to clean. How is it just as hard to clean? Are well, you boiling things, over and cooking things yes. on the induction? If things, okay. bo if things boil right. over, it's really hard to, you got to really scrub that stuff up. It's hard to get off. I just a vinegar water solution we should have you spick and span, sir. Just FYI. Look, let us know in the comments. Are you someone who was a gas person who's a convert for convenience reasons like myself? Are you someone who's still sticking with gas, cooking with gas because you're a, a chef and you need to be able to do your little walk action uh, like a pro? <laughs> my eggs. I need my eggs. I, no, I can't flip them in the pan. Are I you, are you a terrible spatula. housekeeper like me who will prioritize at the end of the day being able to do a quick wipe down at the end of the meal? Let us know. We'll have more rising for you, right? after this.